Choose the quick settings button on your remote, indicated by a gear or tool icon. Select settings. Choose system and pick the about option in this menu. Select system software update to access automatically check for updates. Check the option and set it to on. On the TV remote, hit the help button. Choose the status and diagnostics option. Select system software update. Choose the automatic software download or automatically check for update option and make sure it's on. Check for updates manually on the internet. Press the quick settings option in the remote and choose settings. For other Android TV or Google TV models without this feature. Hit the help button on the TV remote. Alternatively, hit the input button and choose help. If the procedure isn't available on your remote, select the home button and choose apps. This should be followed by the see all option. Choose help. Depending on your TV menu options, it's choose status and diagnostics. In the resulting menu, choose the system software update option and then software update. Choose System Software Update followed by Software Update or check for a System Software Update. These steps lead you to the searching for the latest software screen. A notification will pop up if the software is up to date. In this case, you don't have to perform any updates on your Sony TV. Visit the support website. Type in the TV model name in the search box. Navigate to the Downloads option and select an update. Follow the instructions to download an update to your USB flash drive. Turn on your TV. Insert the USB drive into the appropriate TV port and follow the on-screen instructions. If you don't have an internet connection, don't worry. You can get the latest firmware through broadcast signals if you don't have an internet connection. When the automatic software option is set to on, you'll get software updates through broadcast signals automatically. You should be able to access the latest firmware update on your device. If you run into issues while trying to update, you may have to do a factory reset. Do this by accessing the settings menu on the Sony TV and selecting storage and reset followed by factory data reset. If this doesn't help, you may need to contact Sony support or your retailer for assistance.